Hey there, in this video, we're going to look at linear equations with one solution. So there is a general format with AX plus B equals zero, or you could think of it as MX plus B equals zero if you prefer to think of it as that same format as Y equals MX plus B, but with a zero in the Y spot. So either way, sometimes we use A, sometimes we use M, um, but with any linear equation in that general format, um, it has one solution if a is not zero. So B can be any value, but as long as A is not zero in this exact format, then it is one solution. So generally, since A is different than zero, the equation can always be manipulated to the general format that we see here. So we start with AX plus B equals zero. And then what we do is we move that plus B by subtracting B from both sides. And zero minus B is this negative B b minus b cancels out and we just have ax equals negative b then we want to isolate the x and to do that we divide by the number in front which is a here so negative b over a is the general format of that solution so let's go ahead and talk about two examples with numbers in place of a and b so in that general format again ax plus b equals zero so we see here 3x plus 15 equals 0. We're going to follow that same order we just talked about by subtracting the constant over to the other side. So we subtract 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. So we have 3x equals 0 minus 15 is negative 15. Then we divide both sides by 3 to isolate the x. And we get x equals negative 5. So our solution for that first one is x equals negative 5. Now following the same pattern on number 2, we get rid of that constant on the left side by doing the opposite. So we add 12 to both sides. So we get negative 2x equals 12. Then we divide both sides by negative 2 to isolate the x. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 cancels out, and we have x equals negative 6, and that is our solution for number 2. Now I want you to take a look at these exact same equations. So 3x plus 15 equals 0 and negative 2x minus 12 equals 0, and we got x equals negative 5, and x equals negative 6 as our solutions when we solved algebraically. But to show you um, the graph of those equations, if I were to graph these equations, notice where um, the graph crosses the x-axis. So you see on this first one, x equals negative 5 is what we solved for algebraically, and negative 5 is where it crosses the x-axis when you look graphically. Same concept here on number 4. x equals negative 6 was what we got on the last page when we solved algebraically, and negative 6 is where it crosses on the x-axis. So when you solve an equation algebraically for the solution of that linear equation, you're really finding the point where it crosses the um, x-axis. So relating the solution to the graph again, linear equations with one solution will always be a straight line that is not parallel to the x-axis. So that means it's not horizontal um, when it's graphed. So let's look at some examples and I have them color coded for you. Um, now I want to point out if you were to solve these by putting a zero in for y, because that's what the solution is really doing. If I were to solve these, for example, on this first one, I would get x equals negative 2.5. And you'll notice, so this right here is negative 3. So the point where the red graph crosses the x-axis is negative 2.5, which matches what you get when you solve algebraically. If I were to solve the blue one, the 0 equals negative 0 0.5x plus 2 by subtracting 2 over, dividing by negative 0.5, you would end up with x equals 4, which is exactly where that blue graph crosses the x-axis for the green one. When you plug in 0 for y and you were to solve that algebraically, you would end up with x equals 2. And with this green graph, it crosses at 2 on the x-axis, so that matches. And then this bottom one, this purple one, y equals negative 1x plus 0. That can be rewritten as just y equals negative x if you prefer. Uh, but you'll notice that the um, x coordinate or the x value, if you put 0 equals negative x and you divide both sides by negative 1, you're going to get x equals 0. And you'll notice that the purple graph crosses at 0 on the x-axis. So every single one of these 
a matchup when you find the solution algebraically and you graph the original equation and you look for the x-intercept, they are the same number. So again, that's just reiterating um, that when you're solving an equation for the solution, you are solving for the point where it crosses that x-axis. So in summary, we talked about um, linear equations with one solution. If they have one solution, that's because it can be written or was written in the format ax plus b equals zero, where a is not zero. b can be anything, but a cannot be zero. Solving um, ax plus b equals zero with one solution, remember when you're solving that, we start by moving the constant over, so we subtract b from both sides. We get ax equals negative b, and then we would divide both sides by a. And again, a and b are actual numbers. This is just the general format. And then graphically, uh, remember that a linear function or a linear equation is going to be a straight line. If it has one solution, it is not going to be horizontal. It will not be perpendicular. Um, I'm sorry, it will not be parallel to the um, x-axis. It will be a sloped line, meaning it um, is not horizontal or vertical, and it will have one place where it crosses the x-axis, and that one place is your solution, x equals whatever that number is.